Hey everyone, this is Manly Ben S. Hero, and welcome to Dreaming Mary. In Dreaming Mary, you play as a girl as she explores her dreams and plays games with her animal friends. But as cute as things are, everything is not what it seems. Mary, always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality, and the entire world will open up for you. But Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. There's a big fluffy bed. So sweet. This is a weird painting. So, welcome to the dream tour. Please stay on the road or you will experience horrible nightmares. That's basically what they're telling us. It's not too far off from your average amusement park. There's a vase with a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. The door is locked. Wish my room was as cute. There's a chocolate on the bed. Wow, there's something hard inside. There's a large white door. You can hear someone humming in the room behind it. It's such a pretty world. Very nice spriteage. Oh my! Hello there, Mary. Hmm? How do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Oh my, oh my. Well, you weren't very small when we first met. It's no wonder. Well, my name is Bonilda. I'm the maid of your dreams. <laughs> if you don't remember me, I bet you don't remember anyone else, do you? That's alright. To get started, why don't you go visit Pen Gwindel, the room next door? I'm so happy to see you again, Mary. I'm so happy to see you, bunny person I've just met, who acts like I've known you, but I actually don't know if that's true or not. We've got so much catching up to do. I can't wait. You've changed so much since the last time you were here. You've grown so prettily. Your mother had the same sweet eyes. Let's see, that's all the dialogue she has. But the children are cursed, and only the girl will be. There's a large blue door. You can hear someone reading aloud. Mm -hmm. 
All these books have kind of a similar theme. Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You ought to go say hello to Fox Anne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go tunnel along now. See Alice in Wonderland. Where the wild things are. The teen rabbit. Such a pretty world. It's like, oh, so pretty. There's someone waiting for you in the room after Fox Sands. It's best if you visit right after seeing her, before going to anyone else. When you're done talking to Fox Anne, you might want to go see Bonilda. She's having a bit of trouble with her room arrangements. Perhaps you could help. Do you like being in these dreams, Mary? The waking world must be dull in comparison. I'm sure it has its merits, though. Here's a quote by Epicurus. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. A lot of escapism books in there, though. And a few other ones that are kind of, uh, what's the word for it? Metaphors or moralistic? Like uh, Aesop's Fables and The Giving Tree, obviously. There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. This place is decked out. You have a nice little kind of statue garden area. You have a nice little library and you've got a little, like a little kind of jazzy bar. With a almost comically looking, uh, I guess a chicken or something. Could be a turkey too. Mary? Mary, is that you? Wow, look at you. Growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't even stopped to visit these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. None of I can help it. You should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. Horus is in the garden. You can get to it by heading down the stairs at the end of the hall. So how are you doing, kid? Everything good? You only get better from here. Your dreams are great like that. Stay and relax. Enjoy yourself. You have all the time in the world to do what you want. Don't worry if you hear or see some weird stuff every now and then. It's all just subconscious nonsense. Dream stuff. Just keep going. There's some things popping up in the dialogue I don't quite like. Whenever a dream tells you it likes you being here, kind of, and just take your time, I don't like that. Even in my own dreams, I never quite trust that type of stuff. But then again, I have a lot of nightmares. <laughs> I miss you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? It's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later. Alright, sweetie.
If you notice, he actually kind of talks to you like a, uh, I'd say a pedophile. Uh, It's kind of a very creepy dialogue, just how he uses Sweetie a lot. I don't actually know the plot of this game, but uh, I'm just calling that right now. Based on his discussion, the other people talk like dream characters, but he talks a little too comfortable in comparison. Oh, Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dream? <laughs> Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I just can't figure out how, how to arrange these statues. Yay! Thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man, and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld. The other was the goddess of love. Please help me show this story with the statues. Wow, this looks really good. You did a great job, Mary. You really have an eye for these things. I'll be sure to ask you if I need more help. So pretty. I could just sleep here for a long time. Take a nap, maybe. Of course, it's a bit weird taking a nap in a dream, but it's not too uncommon. I do that all the time. And you have a hard time waking up. Welcome back, Mary. Oh, so you managed to help Bernilda. That's very nice of you. Since you're here, would you mind lending me a hand, too? Excellent. Thank you for your assistance. I read a book by an author named Williams a while ago. It was about a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what color it is? It was white. No, it wasn't white, it was something else. Here, yellow book. You're a very lazy man, aren't you? Could you f tell me what book this is? The book that's right down there, to my left. Then I am too lazy to get up and look at. Oh, you're right. Excellent work, Mary. There are so many books to enjoy. What a time to be alive. Hey there, kiddo. What's up? You've been hanging out with Bernilda and Gwyndell? Hey, what about me, huh? Alright, let's play a game. You up for it? Great. We'll just play a game of hide and seek. I'll hide somewhere in this room, and you'll have to find me. For this round, you'll get 45 seconds. Just talk to me again when you're ready. Alright. Let's get started. Try to find me before the 45 seconds are up. Oh. Hey, you found me. Nice work. Good job, kid. Let's play another round some other time. This world was just made especially for you, after all. It wouldn't be right if you didn't like it. It's still early, so why don't you go play some more with your friends? Aw, oh, that's a shame, Mary. Did you want to do something more fun? I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. Just a little longer, Mary. 
and we can do some more pleasurable things together. Be a good girl and play with your friends. It'll only be a little longer. If it wasn't subtle enough, then it just outright tells you there, pretty much. Plus the fact he's a boar, I guess. He ever wants a kind of cute animals. Not to be, I guess, I don't know if you can use the term here, racist against boars, but... The fox, the bunny, and the, uh, I guess he's a penguin. Are a little more cutesy in comparison to him with his tusks and whatnot. I get, I guess that is a little bit boarsist, but I, I'm sorry to all the boars that are watching. Oh, Mary, you're back. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Do you think you can help me with the statues again? Yes, Benilda, I can help you with the statues again. Seems I have to do everything around here. Yay, great. You see, the statues are each supposed to be holding something. One has a flower, one has a red fruit, and one has a gold fruit. The thing is, I don't know which statues are supposed to hold what. Please match them for me. Yay! I think you got it. Great work, Mary. I'm really glad I asked you for help. <laughs> this place looks so pretty, Mary. No thanks to me, who has just been doing nothing but sweeping in the same spot. I think you, I think you have the dust out of there. I think I think you got it. You can stop dusting one spot now. Okay. No. Never mind. I had the spelling wrong. Nope, I got it right. Oh yes, that's correct. Good work, Mary. The other book is a green book by an author whose name begins with an S. Could you remind me of the title? Shell Silverstein. The Giving Tree. Why, that's right. Thank you, Mary. You can do it if you try, you see. I suppose that's it. Our turn to reading now. You're free to look around as much as you want, however. The angel led her to a land of bright lights and sunshine. Hmm. Hey kid, you ready for another round? Great, this time you'll have 25 seconds. Ready? Go! Oh! Hey, you found me! You did good, kid. That's all I got for now. We can play again some other time. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a video game, and if I look at the screen, I can see someone out there, and I can stare into his soul. Welcome back, dear. Are you done playing with your friends? Oh, but it's not time to start yet. We're still missing something. If you can get free seeds from your friends, we can go deeper into the dream together, Mary. 
All right. Be patient for just a little longer. You're such a good girl, Mary. I'll be waiting. I can already think that the... I don't know, it seems like it'd be related somehow, and he's sexually molesting her. And the animals are, uh, a form of escapism, kind of. Like, maybe toys or something, or representations of other people she knows? That's what I'm getting from it. Hi, Mary. Uh, huh You want a seed? But that means you'll be leaving this dream. Aren't you happy here, Mary? It'll all be over. We'll all be over. Uh... But if you're sure... Okay, how about this? I'll give you the seed if you can answer a question about the story I told you. Okay. I'll give you the seed if you get the question right. But if you don't, you need to give me one of your flower petals. The question is, who did Adonis love? What? You don't have an answer? Well, that's right. I never said who Adonis loved. <laughs> I'm sorry for tricking you, Mary, but I just don't want you to leave. Here's your seed. Bye-bye, Mary. Don't forget about me. She's gone. What the? Did she... Was that her? No, that's... What is that? That doesn't make any sense. Hello again, Mary. What? The seed? Are you sure you want it, Mary? Couldn't you just stay here? If you truly want it, then I suppose I can't stop you. But I will present a challenge. There is a book that I've lost. It was a brown journal written by someone named Anna. Who was it dedicated to? If you can find this book, or at least guess the correct answer, I will give you the seed. If not, I must take one of your flower petals from you. Now that I kind of missed something obvious, is a, uh, I think, I guess it was a white lily you picked up at the beginning. And if we're going with a the theme of sexual molestation, I think the lily probably represents, uh, both innocence and probably virginity. And it kind of makes sense of taking flower petals and two of them are wilted, I guess, house back in the room. Hey there, kid. Wait, what? The seed? No way. You're kidding, right? Come on, don't do this. Come on, you're kidding, right? Do you really want that old seed? Ah, uh, you're serious then? Fine. We'll play a round of hide and seek. If you can find me, you get the seed. If not, you have to give me one of your flower petals. You get only ten seconds this time. Now let's start. really found me. Color me impressed. You won. That's all. That's the end. Here, take your prize. Now it's time for my final disappearance. See you around, kid. Something appearing over there. I don't know what to do with the penguin guy. I'll figure that out later. Take a shot in the dark. Then, this is the end of my rule. Mary, if you haven't found her, next time you enter this dream, find the angel. Those little ghost pop-ups are kind of freaking me out, man. Mary, sweetheart, are those the three seeds you have? You've gotten them already, good girl. But you need one more. Just give me a petal from your lily, Mary. You don't need to do anything else. 
I know that you deserve my seed. Ugh. No. What do you mean, no? It's just a flower petal. You can give it to me, right? Come on. Don't be stubborn, Mary. I won't give you my seed if you're not a good girl. You want it, don't you? I think I made him angry. Fine. Do what you want. Not that there's anything left to do. You've already played on the games. If you want to go deeper in your dreams, you'll give your petal to me. Otherwise, you'll just have to wake up and lose everything. Talk to me again when you've come to your senses. Good girl. You have all the seeds now, Mary. You can open the door to your dreams. I'll go first and you can meet me there when you're ready. Just open the door, Mary, and everything will be fine. Oh no. I think my portrait changed. I have two petals left though. Good girl. Sweet girl. You're mine. Mari, this is fate. Are you happy with it? I see. Then Mari, I'll give you another chance. <laughs> you lost. You better pay up. And just because I'm so generous, here's your seed. Have fun with the rest of your dream. Well, you're... you're not that friendly after all, are you? Wrong. Looks like you'll have to give me one of your flower petals, Mary. <laughs> but I'll give you the seed anyway, since you're such a good girl. <laughs> That's it then. Have fun in the rest of your dreams, Mary. You were never my friends. You were just a bunch of dream people. In comparison, uh, Mr. Penguin here is actually quite friendly when he takes her uh, a flower a petal. It seemed like the only main difference was the uh, the hands reaching out and kind of talking to you at the end. Is there something here? There seems to be a door hidden in the wall. You can hear a strange noise from behind the door. Almost as if someone is calling you. This is quite white. The painting is really weird. Fishbowl? There's a bowl with a sea angel inside. It looks like it's about to tip over.
when free, sea angel. There's a button locked by code inside the bowl. There's something strange about this spot. You touch the painting. Oh. Is this, is this what my room looks like in the real world? You know, minus all the blood hanging from the walls. A lot less pretty, boy. The book says you can run by holding down shift. You should always run. The moment you think you're safe, it's the moment he will get you. That's weird. It's a stuffed up rabbit. Let's see... There aren't any pictures, so you don't really want to read more. There's a penguin doll on the couch. It's sitting on the brown journal. Dear Glenn, thank you for all your help. I couldn't have come this far without you being there with me. Love, Anna. It's addressed to Glenn. There's a fox pelt on the sofa. The note next to it reads, The fox was hidden in plain in sight. She was clearly agitated. Just a few steps to the right and down. There's a stuffed boar head staring at me. It's painting here again. Huh. I guess I'm done here for the moment. Ooh! Hmm. That was interesting. And this is farewell. You'll be moving on soon, Mary. No matter how frightening things may be, I know that you can pull through. I believe in you. Don't forget about that. The stuffed rabbit is shredded up. It looks like there's something inside. Penguin doll is torn up. It looks like there was something inside. The fox belt is ripped up. It looks like something fell out of it. Let's see if this area changed at all. No? I can't remember what that locked door is about. Hmm. What the? Nope. Sorry, mate. Painting's flashing now. I could probably teleport to the other side, then get to the door that he was blocking. Ooh! Did I make it? Is he still chasing me? Not quite sure, but I can't run anymore.
Hmm. That was a long dream. I wonder if anything has changed. Who am I kidding? So this is the real world then. Quite a contrast from the dream one. This is my bookcase. It's filled with mom's old books and the ones Uncle Gwendol gave me. It's my bed. Uncle Gwendol gave me that doll. I wonder when he'll visit again. What did that penguin in my dream say again? Where did I leave the key? This is my work desk, where I do my homework. There are some notes on the desk. Daddy locked the door. I... unlock the door. I can leave. Mari, there are so many things I wanted to teach you, to show you. But by the time you're old enough to understand, will I be there for you? Mary, always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your life for your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality, and the entire world will open up for you. But Mari, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. I'm still searching for the key. When I find it, I'll save both of us. But if I don't, if I don't come back, Mari, then... I pray that you will find your way and save yourself. Mari, my darling daughter.
So that's it for Dreaming Mary. Overall, a very cool game. I like the art, I like the music, and I, for the most part I liked how the story was presented. It's a bit annoying having to re replay the game so many times and do the same puzzles. Uh, it's They go by very fast because you already know what you're doing. But it still gets a bit repetitive because I think you have to do it about, uh, about five times as you play. As far as the plot goes, I think you can take it multiple ways. You could take it either as a molestation story, of the lily representing um, innocence, or in this case also possibly virginity, like I said. I don't think it's actually the uncle. Like it, it seems like it might be the uncle who's doing it, but I don't know if it's actually him. It could be any number of people we don't know, it never explicitly tells you. But I know this is also part of an overall series, and there is supernatural elements going based on the uh, conception and uh, the bonus info that you can find after being in the game. So I think another way to take it is actually uh, not that. I think the boar is a predator, but not that she was molested or anything or that she's currently being molested, but rather as fear and uh, fear of leaving her home. 
So finding the key and kind of getting over her fear and uh, surpassing the kind of evil people she would possibly meet in her life, being the boar and things like that. I think even the rabbit and the fox, not the penguin, but the rabbit and the fox are kind of, I think, fitting into that mold. They're very nice and friendly and act like your friends. But if you fail their last puzzle, they suddenly become very sinister. And you can argue that's part of her maybe paranoia of leaving the house and going out there and living her life. So I think that's another little bit less sinister way of taking this story. And in some ways it could be both. It could be past events affected her life, and now she's afraid to go out. But I don't really know until we see more games within this series and, and get some clarification about how this world is actually like the rules are and what exactly goes on if there's a dream world or there's supernatural and whatnot. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Dream Mary. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.